all right grand communities i welcome you once again to the update and make sure you subscribe if you have not done so and share this video i hope you have listened to the uh part one of this uh message uh and i this is the part two and i want you to pay close attention because they make promises and they intend to keep it we will deliver on our promise part two so guys pay close attention and i know you have learned one or two things in part one if you have not watched it make sure you watch it and uh, get the full information the full gist in order for you to equip yourself on your next move so guys listen to the part two and make sure you subscribe to the update for more tips guys appreciate you guys for stopping by and bye for now in the past in the grant ecosystem if he's calling your name today it is by what people tells him so i have had more than two three meetings with him ascertaining the genuity the authenticity of his project which to an extent if i can rate it I will rate it because every one of us has instincts that speaks to us. My instincts about his project is clean, is genuine. I'm not speaking to convince anybody, but I'm telling you the reality and the truth about it. If I have not spoken, been in meeting with him, I will not be telling you all this. Nobody here is out to, to deceive you. Please, CEOs, learn how to fall back to your leaders. Learn how to use them as a ladder to climb. Because the idea in the different states to guide your interests, to protect your interests, and to make sure you don't make any mistake. I think in all this, fall back to your state chairman, fall back to your state chairpersons, and don't again be discouraged. Things by the grace of God are all working fine. Left, right, up, and down, by the grace of God, we are here to making sure that we all are happy. Do not say anybody has come to spoil things. Nobody has come to spoil anything. You say the uh, 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 a brother Livingstone come the Livingstone came and he spoiled he did not spoil anything. He spoke his mind and it is important he has been here. Whatever he said will be based on the experience he had in the past and he has given an advice and his advice it's not wrong. He has advised. And uh, we have spoken. He did not come to spoil, but he came to make sure we are the right side. Please understand that he never come to spoil anything. He never come to spoil anything. However, you understand what he said is left for you, but I'm telling you, he never come to spoil anything. He only came to direct us well and to make sure we don't make further mistakes i think that is a good one and all those you said i have spoken like our mother jennifer isaac everyone is speaking based on what he knows what that have been happening so please do not say they have come to spoil anything no we all are here to make sure that we understand ourselves we get the right thing and we don't fall two times we don't fall and keep falling Abala once spoke the same thing. Please understand that these people are people you have known before. They have been in the system. They know how it runs. Everything at a point got soured and the rest of them. So they know their fears. Don't take their fears as maybe they have come to spoil. No, they have never come to spoil. But they have come to guide you and guide you well. So that those of us who are here, we have more direction. We look inward and try to find out the real truth about all this whole thing. But I'm telling you here that the consultant 
of intervention is focused. He knows what he's doing. And by the grace of God and by my findings, he has this money to disburse to me and you. I beg every one of you, do not see yourself falling and keep falling. No. Please, fall back to your state chairman. Fall back to your state leaders. Return back to them if there are any further confusion in your minds. Don't keep agitating. Don't keep seeing yourself, you know, having high blood pressure, keep thinking and all the rest of them. Yes. We all called that I should please plead that this verification don't take place because one, that the road is too far. Two, that in fact, kidnapping here and there. Three, high cost of transportation, hotel, food, and all the rest of them. If anybody is to leave his or her state to Abuja, even though it is the closest state, know how the person will not spend huge amount of money. And the, it is not going to be okay. It's not going to be good. And I pleaded. I begged. And God actually touched the mind of this man to help. And he said, the verification will not hold in Abuja again. Everyone can be at your comfort zone and do your verifications. Because there is an app that is going to be released to everyone. You know, what we are pleading for is that our great leaders here and the people who understand what is happening and the reality about this whole thing understands this whole thing. Yes, if you want to come to Abuja for verification, please try to check it up, down, front and back and see whether it is better for you. And they, they mentioned 7,000 for the verification. That has been our battle all this while. We have been battling over it, trying to see whether there is any other way that solution will come. We have been trying our best. We have been fighting over it. But I want to believe that God is not disappointing us at all. God is not disappointing us at all. So please, I beg every one of you, let us reason it in these two angles. And you should now count your teeth with your own tongue and choose what to do about it. Because if you take a horse to the river, I don't think you're going to force the horse to drink water. The answer is no. We all are all mature people, CEOs of different NGOs, different cooperatives, different companies, and not the rest of them. So many of us are CEOs of churches, schools, and a whole lot of things. I don't think anybody can deceive you over deciding on what to do so please look into the matters and know that we are here looking for a way to solving this whole problem and the number one the verification has been trashed out coming to abuja number two is now that me and you at our comfort zones have these verifications which one is best think of it yourself and then we are still on the matter i beg every one of you don't be confused but as for the genuity of the project from my own finding up down left and right please i have looked into it I've had a series of meetings with the consultant himself. I'm not talking of any other person. I think we are good to go in that project. 
we are good to go in that project. I just come your way this morning to clear this air and to let you know that it's not just we falling and keep falling. No, sometimes that we have fought before does not mean that we cannot stand again, that we keep falling. The answer is no. There are guides now, there are directions, a whole lot of things we are doing to guide you right. So please, a right thinking human being should reason over these whole things and let us see the better way out of them. According to them, we are looking at celebrating this Christmas with this fund, with this money in our pockets. And it will not be fine that we have gotten to the verge of what we are looking for and we are not falling back because of nothing. Please let there be no more confusion. Let there be no more stress. Wherever you are confused over anything, you ask questions. All areas we are working, we are making sure that things unfold to the favor of me, you, and everyone in this community. Again, I want to say, remain focused. Please, don't let your mind be confused. Three, be guided. Four, try to fall back at your leaders when there is any confusion in your mind. Five, let what's supposed not to scare you or confuse you keep confusing you. We are not out to destroy you or to create more fear or confusion in you. No. We are here to make sure you are guided well and you achieve what you are looking for. Please, fall back to your state leaders, fall back to your state executives. No one has spoken to discourage you. No one has spoken to run you down or to make you have fears and whatever. No, they have only guided your minds. They have only tried to make you not to keep falling. But the truth is that the intervention, the consultant is ready to give me and you this morning. As we await also the disbursement of our awaiting UAAG grants. Everything is working fine. And soon also, you are going to hear that which you want to hear. I only seek your prayers. I seek your advice, your courage, your encouragement to us who are here and mostly to our dear country director. I beg every one of you, God is helping us. Don't discourage anybody. Don't keep putting fear in your minds. Things are working well. And soon, God will smile at us. November, here we go, by the grace of God. Here we celebrate our Christmas happily, by the grace of God. Please be fine. Be at peace. Things are okay. Things are fine. I will never deceive any one of you. I will never speak when I have made no findings. God is helping us. For those of you who subscribe through Power of Five or Whole Death or who subscribe through the NGO CEOs, please, once you have submitted anything or we have paid seven thousand naira to one person please 
Don't pay two times to anybody. Don't pay two times. Verification is once. Nobody's going to verify you two times. You are, very, you are to be verified only once. And your name will not appear in all these whole places you are submitting, everything you are submitting. Please, don't make that mistake and pay here, pay here, pay here. Please, be very careful how you go about sending your money and whatever. Be very careful because some of you are confused. They don't know what to do. Please be guided. Don't pay two times. Don't pay two times. You are paying only one if you want to pay. You are paying only one. Don't pay two. No matter how many places you suffer, in as much as it is called intervention, please don't pay two times. Don't pay to two people. Only one place. You felt your interest is covered. You pay there. Only once. So far, your name is there. It will be screened out. Also, intervention. You say yeah, 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 you did very, very veteran, this and that. Please, all of them are one. All of them are one. Don't go confusing yourself. Don't go confusing yourself. Only one. Pay to only one person you felt you trust, you rely on, you subscribe to. Don't pay to two people. Be guided. That's why I said go to your state chairman, chairperson, and they let them know so as to guide you, so as to direct you. Call your state chairman, let them guide you, let them direct you well. If you make mistake, please don't complain and don't blame anybody for your mistakes. Again, this is the voice of Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyang. I will say bye for now. Whatever it is you want to know, please fall back to your state chairman and chairpersons. And however it is that they're getting confused about it, they will call to me. And they, I will give them the right direction and the right answer to what they seek. Thank you. And uh, be blessed.